What up, my home skillet biscuits? Raven, you coming? Yeah, I'll be right there, home skillet biscuit. Recently, I've been making some changes to my room, redoing a few things, one of those things being my memory walls and decorations. And I know a lot of you guys are interested in that kind of stuff, so I asked on my Instagram if you guys wanted to see a decorate with me video, and a lot of you guys said yes. So, welcome to decorating with Dustin. So I already worked on my other walls already, but I saved this wall exclusively for this video. And this is kind of like my main wall in my head because this wall is always the wall that is shown in my videos. And I feel like it's the wall that most of you guys recognize the most. So I thought it was only right to decorate this wall for this video. Personally, how I decorate and do a memory wall, I first start out with the bigger main pieces and then I kind of just build around that with the smaller pieces. This poster was actually here already, but I decided to keep it here just because I have nowhere else to put it. And also I don't have another big piece piece like this to replace it with and I still like it I still think it looks good here so I'm just gonna leave it this morning I went to the antique store with my friends and it was like this big building with little booths of vintage antiques and I picked myself up some of these magazine advertisement clippings I still to this day do not know what these are really called but they're basically just old magazine advertisement clippings with like articles and these are one of my favorite things to decorate with I know a lot of people find images on Pinterest and stuff and print them out to put on their walls but the thing with that is I feel like a lot of rooms start looking the same because everyone uses kind of the same images but the thing with these is they're a little bit more unique and it's most likely not other people will have it I just really love vintage antique type things and I just think they're cool to decorate with and I really like the vibe. It very much so fits my vibe. How many times did I just say vibe? Oh my god. I bought some car ones which I try to refrain from just because I have so many car ones already. And this one reminded me of the Grand Budapest Hotel which I actually recently watched for the first time. I loved it. Really good movie. I got this Jeep one, another car one. I got this Father's Day one from 1942 and I just thought it was really funny. I don't know. That's my humor. This one Boats. Okay, yeah, yeah. I just watched an episode of iCarly yesterday where Spencer got a boat. I mostly got this to change it up because I have too many car ones. So I was like, oh, what's the next best thing? Boats. And then lastly, I got this Los Angeles Home magazine from 1968. And it has such pretty images in it of like home decor and things. I bought this with the intent to tear out the pages and put them on my wall. But I actually think I'm going to just keep it intact and to look through for inspiration stuff just because it's too pretty for me to ruin. And I really love the 1960s. It's one of my favorite eras. I just love the whole aesthetic of it. Um, not the racism. Don't like that. When I talk about eras, I'm strictly talking about the decor and the fashion. Also music sometimes. By the way, I use wall putty or sticky tack to put up everything. I don't know if I recommend it. It really depends on what brand you use. I used a certain brand and it ruined my walls. There's like little oil stains or something left over and like residue. And also with thin paper, it like seeps through. So it did seep through and ruin some of my posters, which is very sad. But honestly, you live and you learn. I now use a different brand. I use this like blue one, which I haven't had too much trouble with but it does kind of leave a blue tint on your wall as well so maybe don't use sticky tack I don't really know do it at your own risk I still use it just because I don't learn from my mistakes actually for my new posters I've been putting washi tape on the corners of the back and then putting wall putty on top of the washi tape so then the putty doesn't like actually touch the poster itself and I think that's been working I'll put this here Cute. Be what you wrote in the song about me. Red lights, stop signs. Red lights, stop signs. I still see your face in the... Another tip for laying out a memory wall is to just put everything you want on your wall and then rearrange it as it's on the wall so then you can visually see what it looks like. Because sometimes I don't know if something will look good, so I'll just... I'll just slap the shit on and then you'll see if it looks good or not. If not, move it. 
Oh, I didn't even know this was on the back of this. Hot scandal brewing. Crazy. Okay, coming together. Okay. I'll also kind of play Tetris with it and make sure everything symmetrically fits perfectly. Like right here, I'll just have it perfectly aligned with this poster. And then I also like lift this a little bit to kind of create a staircase effect. That's something I've noticed that I like the look of. So I'll try to make it kind of off a little bit and kind of like a irregular shape. I should get some frames to like change it up. I guess I can get into why I decided to change up my room. I started to get tired of my room. It was at that point where I walked into my room and I no longer was excited about it. And lately my life has been very boring and repetitive and monotonous. And I really just needed a change in my life. I need some excitement. I need something new. And for a while I did love my room a lot. I finally got it to the point where I really loved it and it reflected me really well. But I think I've grown and changed a lot this past year where now my room no longer really reflected who I was and it was very high school Dustin. I looked around my room and I just saw high school me. Even though I was only in high school last year, I'm a completely different person than I was my senior year. And all the photos were outdated, they were all from high school. Let's sneeze. Hey, yeah. Ooh. I just wanted to update the photos with more newer photos that I've recently taken just so it's more accurately representing what my life is right now. I just like the idea of my room reflecting who I am. I want a person to walk in here and be like, this is totally Dustin's room. And I thought it was finally time for me to upgrade it a little bit, get it to the times of who I am now. And that's pretty much why I decided to change up my room. I really want to move so bad, but I just am not moving yet right now. So the only thing I really have is changing my room. I took down my photos a week or two ago. For some reason, I thought I would be more emotional and nostalgic. I used to think I was a very nostalgic person, which I think I am to a certain degree, but for some reason I thought I was more nostalgic than I actually am. The color palette right now is not really coming together. I think this is really throwing it off because it's like very orangey red warm tones and this is so cool toned. Another tip, I try to use color palettes for my memory walls. This one over here, I kind of did a green, orangey brown theme. That one over here is kind of a green, yellow, pinky brown theme. I try my best to color coordinate so then everything kind of matches and it ends up just looking really nice if you do that. It's giving me very orange, yellow, red. Yeah. Anyways, back to what I was saying. When I was taking down my film photos, I didn't cry or sob or anything, and for some reason I expected myself to, but I don't really know why I expected myself to, because I haven't even cried watching a movie before, let alone just looking at some photos. I kind of was just a little bit reminiscent. I would take down a photo and be like, aw, that was a good time. Blech. And that's it. Don't get me wrong, I was a little bit emo just cause my life back then. I was romanticizing the past, even though I know the past wasn't as good as I think it was. I think one of the reasons why I wasn't super emotional was because I imagined the next time taking down all my decorations was when I would be moving out of my childhood home and hometown, but nope. Still stuck here in my hometown, sadly. So I think that kind of brought up a little bit of disappointment because in my head, I imagined myself moving out by now and taking down my decorations for the final time. And since I'm only taking them down temporarily and I'm gonna put them back up, I'm just reorganizing, it's just not as emotional, which makes sense. So maybe once I take a bigger step and move out, I will create some tears, but also highly unlikely because sometimes I feel like I'm heartless. I feel numb a lot. Even though I like to think of myself as an emotionally inclined, I don't even know if that's the right phrase. I'm in tune with my emotions, but I think I'm in tune with emotions in a different way. Growing up, my family wasn't super lovey-dovey. We didn't hug. Physical touch, not a thing. And one of my love languages is physical touch. Don't know why that happened considering I didn't get a single hug growing up. So since I grew up with not a lot of showings of love. I think that affected me a little bit, where for a while I felt uncomfortable hugging. I still, to this day, feel weird when I hug someone. I love hugs now. Like before, I was kind of uncomfortable with the idea of hugs. Now, I love a good hug. I just still don't think I'm good at it, so it makes me a little bit uncomfortable just because I don't have as much experience hugging people as other people have. 
What was I even talking about? Oh yeah, my lack of emotion. So due to that, it's very hard for me to cry. I do not cry very often. But I think I'm more emotionally in tune when it comes to talking about my emotions and like talking deep with someone. And I'm also good at like digging deeper into like someone's mind. That sounds kind of pretentious. If someone wants to talk deep, I'm the person to go to. I don't think this photo matches. Oh, maybe up here. Ooh. I'm a little tired from standing. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, I've been filming for a while, so I think I'm going to wrap this up. I hope you guys enjoyed decorating with me. I'll finish this up and show you guys the final result. It'll probably end up looking completely different than what it looks like right now, because right now it looks fucking ugly. Um, I actually hate it. So we'll see what I can do with this, but it requires my full attention. And while I'm filming, I just can't. My creative juices just don't do its thing. So I gotta, I gotta turn off the camera for that. pasta last night, so I'm gonna eat that. Peace out, Girl Scouts. No, we're not ending that way. Uh... How do I, how do I end this? Bye! Or is it something I said?